Welcome to another episode of the Masterclass Podcast. My name is Rashid K, and I'm not alone. Uh-uh, never that, dog. I got you. Who am I with? Hanging out with the OG, you know what? There's triple, triple. Another session. Another session. How you feeling, man? Brand new week, you good? I'm, I'm great, man. I'm super amped. I wanted to say big shout out to Afro Brew. We didn't do that last episode. <laughs> So, it's our yeah. home ground. Yeah, you should know this ground. by now. Yeah. Like, you should know where For we're sure, at. For sure, man. You know, so shout out to Afro Brew, the home of hip hop. Hip hop Sundays. We out here every single Sunday. You know, if we don't put you on this podcast, you maybe perform out here for 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 a good crowd, you know? For real, for real. Yeah, man. How's your hip hop week been, fam? Um, it's been hip hop nonstop every day, man. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything caught your eye? Nothing interesting. Yeah. I'd like to see. Our cats are doing their thing, but they're still slow. Mm. We we in spring now, so we're expecting some hot shit. You saying right now would be a nice time for you to drop if you're trying to compete with the biggest guys in the game. Yeah. Shit, I'd be scared to drop right now, fam. Don't I'd be. be look, like I don't want my shit to get lost see, between you see, Donda, Donda right now, Lover right Boy, now it's, it's, and Kendro's shit. Right now it's the perfect time for Aries to say, I wanna drop the same day as AKA. Mm. Yeah. And niggas won't do that. And locally? Yeah. We don't do that, right? We need someone... Who's, who's done that locally? Where it's like, yo, we've had two good albums drop on the same day and we're looking at them like... We haven't done it. We need... That's why I'm saying we need an underdog with balls to say, <laughs> oh, you think you're on top of the game? Let's drop on the same day. On the same day. Yeah. Sheesh. So nasty Reese dropping on the same day. Exciting for you? It's all right. Not, I'm not excited. I wouldn't say excited. Who would you like to see drop on the same day? Who's big enough for us to care about locally to drop on the same day? Who's big enough? I know you, you're a big Zulu fan. Shout out to Sia. So him, I'm a, him versus who? I'm not a him big Zulu. I'm not, I'm, I'm not a big Zulu fan. I'm a big Zulu can. Oh, that's even deeper. That's a stand. You can't. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> you're getting big Zulu check. You're getting 10% of that shit. Or what? Of Zulu's check. No, he found me in the game. He got the percentage of me. Oh, I, I like that thought process. Yeah. Like I'm going to work, I'm work it like that. Yeah. Yeah? But but locally, we've never had artists go head to head. We've never had like Cass and AKA drop on the same day. Or Cuesta and just Java drop on the same day. You know, I think that would the, the create problem, that's a good rollout. The, 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 the problem now is that we don't have much competition. The game is lukewarm. Facts. The game is lukewarm. Facts, man. You know what I'm saying? So cold. Lukewarm to cold. To cold, yeah. But heating up in terms... Lyrically, I think we're heating up a little bit. But, yeah, we are. But we are. musically, we're... we're, we're fine. Yeah. You know, so no one can drop on the same day. We're all looking at Drake, Kendrick, and... Um, For now, yes. And and and, and Kanye. Yeah. I'd, I'd, be, I'd be very excited to see... You know, a Nazi come and drop again. Come see, aka drop on the same day as a young catch. You know? Yeah, cost the titch and aka. I'd like, I'd like whoever day. it is. I'd like to see a top dog versus the underdog. That would be interesting. Do you think the underdog would prevail with, 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 you know, because the top dog's got the machine behind them, you know. Mm-hmm. So they've got the rollout plan, and then you get a guy like, um, you know, A risk got the numbers. A risk got the the fan base. You know what I'm saying? We got we got artists that are not on top top, but yeah. they got the music and they got the fans. Ah, I hear, you, I hear. You. Yeah, you yeah, know nah. what I'm saying. Pull up, Aries. Don't be scared. Dog. <laughs> yeah. Oh, before 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 we get in, into a topic, there's there's something I wanted to talk about. I wanted to relate. You know, so it's just a young story. In the in the late '80s. Public Enemy dropped an album called Fear of the Black Planet. Okay. Do you know what fear of a black planet means? Nah. Okay, let me break it down. I'm here for that. <laughs> <clears throat> when you check the, 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 the world population, you know, so when it comes to birth rate, black people outnumber white people by 11 to 1. Yeah. Every time, every time 11 babies are born, 
one white baby is born. Damn. So that's the <laughs> shit that Great. led. That's the shit that led to a biological warfare. AIDS, smallpox, up and now, up until now, coronavirus. It's all about population control. Because other races have a fear of a black planet. Let me explain further. A white person and a black person coming together, you get a black baby. Yeah. Genetically, yeah. Genetically. A black person with all other races, you get a black baby. Yeah, 100%. The only time you get a white baby is when you, it's a white person and a white person. Fuck that Michael Jackson shit. <laughs> you, 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 you only get a white baby <laughs> when it's two white people coming together. So, that means, that, that makes white people endangered species. Because the more they interact, at the more you increase the black population and decreasing the white population. You know what I'm saying? Because in, in, in a thousand years from now, the Earth's population will be brown and eventually black. Beige, beige to black. Yes. So, so this thing, all these man-made diseases, are created to control the black population. That's why some shit, AIDS can start in America, but it's going to end up being an African problem. Coronavirus can start in China, but it's going to end up being an African problem because this shit is deliberate. It's fear of a black planet. Okay. Yeah. So okay. these motherfuckers, they're trying to um, um, eradicate or minimize our population. Mm. That's what fear of a black planet means. Okay. That's what um, public enemy, public enemy dropped public back enemy. In, in 1989. If you don't know public enemy, you need to do some hip hop research, man. You know what I'm saying? So this shit is deeper than meets the eye. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So the biological warfare has been impact, happening. Impact. Has, has been happening. Yeah, and I don't think it's going to stop now, dog. I think it's not going to stop It's only now. developing, my nigga. They're actually just working harder and harder to make it tougher for the black man, I think. And that's why I always say, um, especially on this podcast, we are going to be supportive of any black man winning, bro. Yeah. We're not going to hate on it. We're not going to gossip about it. They're not uh, going to win that. you check, they 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 not gonna check, they they're not gonna win that fight, man. Black people are having more sex and are making more babies. <laughs> Let's get into the class one time. <laughs> yeah. Yo, first period for today. Ah. Man, I can't believe you want us to talk about this one. Freestyling. Free fucking flowing. Yeah. You know, I said, yo. I said, um. The art of freestyling. Yo, right here, right now. Any, one, two, one. And then grab yeah, a mic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. That shit has been twisted a lot of times and people will make excuses and say this and that. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me some background around the, where the arts of freestyling comes from, from your knowledge, especially locally. And we're going to get into us moving into that, that, that place where Stogie and them always used to rap. I can't believe I forgot it. Le, 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 le club. Le club, le club yeah. Le club, yeah. So, no, freestyle, um, Freestyle comes from way back, as 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 back as when hip hop started. You know, it was it was like spitting rhymes on the spot, spontaneously from the top of the dome. You know what I'm saying? And then over time, there's been like artists were tested if they could freestyle. They would they would be. On, on interviews on radio stations or wherever, be asked to freestyle, yeah. and they would kick verses, and people would say, "Yo, dope freestyle." A lot of people don't freestyle. They would kick verses. If you have rehearsed it, if you have written it, it's not a freestyle. 
that's not a freestyle. Like people say, there's a written freestyle. What the fuck? It, it, it can't be written and be a freestyle. It's a written freestyle. No. You know, you know, you know what I'm saying? There were there were freestyle barrels, and the the, the barrels that are commercial now, yeah. like the ciphers, yes, those are written. Those yeah. are written. Written. You, you know what I'm saying? Can I, can I start it from from my um, from my love of hip hop? Yes, yes. I think I started loving hip hop off the aspect of poetry being musical. Yeah. You know, um, I love poetry. Yeah. And usually when the poets I used to fuck with and the ones I listen to today are people that speak off the dome. They will see something in the house or wherever and they can, you know, give me something poetic and nice about that. Yes. I think that's what freestyling is, right? Yes. And if you're a rapper, if you're I a rapper, think, I think, mm. this is my opinion, mm. you should and have to be able to freestyle. It might be an old school thought or whatever, but you should be able to uh, bust the uh, 16 uh, at say, any point in time. Uh, without bumping to you, you need to be able to rap. I'd say not a rapper necessarily, yeah. but an MC. Okay. A an MC has to be an all-rounder. You need to know, you need to be nice with the pen game. You know how to write. You need to know how to freestyle. Free. Yeah, you yeah, know, okay. that, that, that's an MC. A rap, anyone can be a rapper as long as you can write rhymes. And, and recite. Or you recite rhymes that are written for you. Yes. That makes you a rapper. That, that makes you a rapper. And but an MC, MC. An, an, an MC, Rakim said, move the crowd. It's a microphone controller. Mm. Masters of ceremony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's an MC. It's not just a rapper. You, you know what I'm saying? And when it comes to this freestyling shit, um, Supernatural, one of the best freestylers in the world. Yeah. He said, he said, there's two things you can, you can identify whether it's a true freestyle or not. Okay. Presence and relevance. Yeah, 100%, I'm with you. Is If someone is going to rap from the top of the dome and his freestyle is relevant and present, that's a freestyle. Can't if you, beat that. If, yeah, if you if, if you're gonna be on the mic and talk about this fifteen right 15 here with on this, Grace, you, 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 you know what I'm saying? Face. If you're gonna talk about something that people can see and relate to right now, that's a freestyle. But you, you know, you, you cannot come and 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 freestyle about your, your cheeks and about your money and about your cars. Something that it's not here. Those are your rhymes that you prepared for for whatever situation. You know what I'm saying? So, freestyle needs to be from the top of the dome and it needs to be present and relevant yeah. to the current situation. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So, a lot of people a lot of people will defend that. You know, evolution times have changed. It used to be, nah, nigga. Nah, nigga. Change, the, ingredients, free. the main ingredients don't change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You cannot... To, 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 to bake a cake, you always need flour. You're not going to need rice or maize milk. You can, you can add whatever else, but the main ingredients don't change. Freestyle is freestyle. You cannot write that shit. You know what I think killed the art of freestyling? Yeah. And it goes back to the point you're making is that now we as a fraternity hip-hop people, mm -hmm. we've got a definition between rappers and MCs. Like, it should be one thing. Like, if you're an MC, you should be a rapper. If you're a rapper, you should be an MC. I don't condone people who can freestyle but can't make music. Like, if you can free, put that shit into some sound. You know what I mean? And if, 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 if you can write, make no, the music. But, but like, 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 like I said before, as a rapper, you can, you can, you can be a rapper. There, there, there are rappers in, with, in, in rock and roll music. You know what I'm saying? But you can also call them MCs as well. Because they cure, they 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 mastering of ceremonying their music. No, no, you, you know cannot. I mean? They they you, spitting you cannot, bars you can, in a sense cannot, on a country there's song. All, there, 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 there's been quite a rappers. Now we have, uh, I'm a piano rappers. People who are those are not MCs. They just, they're not MCs. Yeah, they're not MCs. You wouldn't say like the niggas that are writing, like Maurice and and Zuma and 
you know, all these guys, um, R.I.P. Uh, Bura, mm. but you don't... They know them Because I think there's no way, isn't it? Mm-hmm. You're sitting in studio writing, wow, wow, the whole fucking day. Mm-hmm. And then you're going to tell... You're doing that off the top of the dome in the studio, in the booth. You're getting in there and you're just spitting. You're doing your thing, you know? You Wait, do- no. With, with MCing, there's, there's boxes you need to tick. Can you freestyle? Can you battle? Can you write? And then, okay, you, 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 let's you, take the rapper's boxes mm. again. So, freestyle, can you battle? Can you MC? Can you write? Yes. I'm sorry for, for, if you're an MC. If you're an can MC. You, can you can you can you um can you freestyle? Can you battle? And can you write? Yes. And if you're a rapper, can you make music? What other what other box do you need to take? That's it. Just rap, rhythm and poetry. Ah oh, man, it's I, 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 rap. I, I just I just feel like, it's, dog, like it's just that it's, all rappers you should cannot, be able to you MC, can, dog. You know you, you you know when you when you when you're gonna bring when you're gonna do a battle. A battle contest, lyrical battle. That's when you on. That's when you 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 see that okay, only hip hop MCs can do this shit. This is not for everyone. You've never seen you've never seen a rock and roll nigga coming to a battle because he's a, he 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 raps on the songs or or techno. <laughs> There's a lot of techno <laughs> niggas who rap, you know. Quite no niggas who rap. I'm a piano niggas. It's not gonna catch them in but a, in but a when it comes to battles and freestyles, that's when you separate boys from men. Like, okay, this is hip hop niggas. This is speeders. Here. I hear you. I hear you. You, you know what I'm saying? No, I, so I, there's I know levels. The definition, that, yeah. Yeah. The, between the, a speeder and, a, and, and, yes. and, and these cats that the, 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 I'm a piano cats just go into the studio. And do whatever they do off the top of the door. You know what I'm saying? You know, party there, chance and there's, whatever. There's levels to this shit. So with freestyling, niggas should stop capping, man, and and release songs and say this is a freestyle. You, you're rapping on 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 a Drake beat and say you're zero to one hundred freestyle. Are you niggas are lying? Niggas being lying. Saying niggas are lying. Niggas being lying. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You you rape you rap. <laughs> <laughs> That's raping it. If you if, Pause. yeah, if you're faking that shit, you're raping Fact, the culture. Taking it for for. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm saying so if you're gonna rap on Drake's instrumental, zero to a hundred, and call it a freestyle, but you you sat down and wrote your rhymes over this instrumental, it doesn't count as a freestyle. Just because you're rapping on somebody. On else's somebody beat. else's beat doesn't make it a freestyle. I find it funny that just niggas are capping. Just, niggas being capping. Just because, I, I want to tell you a story. When just you because you, you, you're reciting your, your verse in an interview doesn't make it a freestyle. You already know this. I, I want to tell you. already memorize this verse. You yeah, wrote this verse yeah, yeah, and yeah. practice this verse. So let me tell you a story, right? Where I ultimately became an AKA fan. Yeah. No. This was in twenty. Well, when they freestyle on the phone on Sway. No, no, no. This is some lie. This is my story. Ain't no oh, okay, okay, shit. okay. This happened to me. Oh, okay. I saw this shit first. Yeah, yeah. So what happened is we. I had him for an interview, in about twenty sixteen, and he came through. Um, I'm not gonna mention any DJs' names because ain't about them at the moment. But he was on a specific DJ show which mm. I produced at the time. Yeah, yeah. So I called him and came in. And he was hot at that moment, you know? Mm-hmm. As soon as the DJ switched the mic on in studio, yeah. AKA just started spitting. Mm. I thought this nigga's going off the dome and I thought this is the most amazing freestyle yeah. I've ever heard in my life. Mm. I was just, I, I, I took out my phone, I caught it halfway, I listened back when I was at the crib, I was like, yo, I, AKA came in. And every time my DJ tried to talk, mm. AKA would keep rapping. Mm. So he wouldn't let, he wouldn't let the guy be in, he wouldn't let himself be interviewed, but he just kept rapping. And I thought, wow, this is so dope having someone freestyle in the studio. A week later, mm. composure drops. Mm. Uh, you, we all know composure, yeah, right? Same lyrics. It is verse one and two from composure. He spat it in the studio, mm. and that was the first time he actually spat. spat but it sounded so good to me. Mm. I was like, there's no way he did this shit off the top of the dome. I yeah. thought, I thought, AKA was a freestyle rapper off that shit, only to find that it was it was a good written. Yeah, good written a, lo- a lot of rappers cheated like that. One of the best 
freestylers I know in SA is Proverb. Pro, really? I was about to ask you who you, who you got. Proverb, Proverb is amazing, man. I remember um, Pro Kid as well. Pro was Pro Kid. Yeah. Was dope. I remember there was a battle of the pros. Pro yeah. Kid versus Proverb yeah. by yeah. YFM. That was back. a Y. Shout out YFM. Mm. YFM back in 2000. It's unfortunate that YFM doesn't have nah, nah, all nah. this footage anymore. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. I thought you were going to say something about... Nah, 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 that, nah never. Hey, hey, shout out YFM. Shout out YFM, man. <laughs> you know, so back in 2005, there was Battle of the Pros by YFM at the Ren Show. They went on for an hour in a battle. Trust me, you cannot do scripts for an hour. You, oh, you can. No, okay, you okay. need. Trust me, bro. Like if I've got my studio shit nigga, in my hand, nigga. You'll have to do the whole album. That's what I'm trying to say, yeah. It is, but what we'll, if I do we'll, my album? we'll catch you, we'll catch you. Yeah, I will, I will. Yeah, but I'm saying is to battle for an hour, you need to know how to freestyle. You can never do scripts for an hour. Yeah, 100%. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, even, even the international battle MCs that we respect, they, they give you four months to prepare for a battle. So they go and write. When they, some of them can freestyle, but they only free, freestyle for like eight bars to rebuttal what you said. What you said, yeah. yeah. Of course, of and then back, and then to, back the to my script. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that, guess, that's how guess, they do it. I think that's what happened. That's what the art became, don't you think? The art of freestyle became a, 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 a written art now. It, became, it stopped becoming a dome thing and became a go find out, go, go do your research and information about this guy and then come and spit it. Like, that's what freestyling is now. It's not about, yo, chilling with your sheet, yeah, but we up know, to no we, good, Yeah, blah, but blah, we, blah, 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 blah. We, we know you're not freestyling. If, 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 if you understand the game, if you understand the culture, you know about presence and relevance, yeah. you're going to tell if a nigga is faking the funk. Like, ah, nah, this nigga is capping. Uh, final thing for me regarding this, is there still room for freestyle rap? in 2021, 22 going forward. Because I just feel like a lot of people are focused on um, making money and making music that's going to make money. And just being I able think, to freestyle doesn't really matter anymore. I think, no one I cares think, about that. I think, I think freestyling is a, dying, is a dying art form. Or dead art form. Not necessarily. There's, there's, there's people, guys that can do it, but yes. it's dead in the commercial space. Yeah, I'm saying people go to, uh, to cipher with scripts. People go to battles with scripts. People go to sway and radio interviews with scripts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So whether you know how to freestyle or not, nobody's going to notice as long as you can write and memorize your nah, shit. No, we'll notice. We'll notice. Yeah. I think no, but I'm it. saying, I'm saying, yeah, dope. no, people, French eventually, eventually people are not going to, because these kids don't know what a freestyle is anymore. They, they're not going to notice the difference. I'm going to write my rhymes and you, in, uh, you invite me to your interview and you play a beat and ask me to freestyle and then I drop a verse. Yeah, and yeah. then you say, hey, well, that freestyle was dope. dope. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yo, man. But you're right. Relevancy, big, big, and, and, and presence, man. Yeah. Big factors when you freestyle. I need to feel you and I need to hear you. I need to, I need I need the oohs and ahs because, oh, you just said something about homie's green jacket. Yeah. You know, I'm like, ah, yeah. no, you didn't prep that. Yeah. Because you didn't know homie was going to rock that. Nah. Game. That's a dope free for me. You, you know what I'm saying? So you're saying Proverb the best you heard? Proverb the best I ever heard. I think the best I've heard live is Stogie. Freestyle. Was it a freestyle? Like like now, now now that we've had this conversation, I don't know, but he's really nice with what I thought I, was I, a freestyle. I know he's, he, he's, he's nice with the pen game. Even what he did on Sway was not a freestyle. No, that was it was a freestyle. written verse. That was a I know Stogie is note. nice, but I'm not sure that when it comes to freestyle. When, written. When, when it comes to freestyle, I cannot put my head on the block. I'm not sure. Okay. But with Proverb, I know he's the illest. Good. And then from the young guns, because Proverb is most idols now, so... I don't even think he'll drop a free for us if you ask him to. Nah, I don't think Nah, so. he will, he will. Bro, he will. He I'm will. not sure about he's that. He's still got it in the bag. So do you think, do you think freestyling is a dead art form or a dying art form? Can it be revived? Can it be saved? I think it's a dead art form, and I say it's dead because, like we're saying now, we've we've just explained why it's dead because yeah. people are writing yeah. to come to it. So the art of actually getting there and busting off the door, that's done. You know, pause. Mm -hmm. um, it can be revived, bro. 
Uh-huh. It just requires us to be a bit more creative. We need to be, as, as a hip-hop fraternity, as real purists that enjoy hardcore raps and bars and rhythm and poetry, um, we can revive it. I just feel like people just don't feel it. it's, it's lucrative. I don't know if it's lucrative. We were speaking about how Scrambles for Money, um, how Jun took that shit off YouTube, yeah. and now it's, there's nothing like that in the country. I don't know if it makes rappers money. That's why I don't think they care about actual freestyling. Like, why would I go do some shit off the dome if writing makes me more cash, you know? So that's what I, that's what I think about it, though. Uh, well, let us know what you think about is freestyle alive? Is Comment freestyle section, dead? Man. Can it be saved? Comment section. I'd love to see it, though, come back. Yeah. I, 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 there's nothing... Freestyling is beautiful, man. I think when you can freestyle, that's a bit of genius, you know? When yeah. you talk about the word genius... Mm-hmm. I think that like being able to create poetry like that of just things that you're seeing and on the spot, feeling, on the spot, spontaneously. That's genius. That's amazing. That's, yeah. gen- that's as good as Facebook for me. Mm-hmm. That's coming up with something that's you know. So yeah, I hope the art form comes back, bro. Yeah. But for now, dead for me. Are you still gonna have rappers freestyling on your show? Because you do that, but then I can hear that those 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 niggas are. And you hear it on my show too. Mm. I'm sure you're like, ah, that, that was not a freestyle. That was not a freestyle. <laughs> you know. <laughs> All right, let's it up, man. Free period. <laughs> my favorite time of this podcast. Free period, baby. Yo, today is crazy, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, you and I got tagged by a homie of mine. Shout out to DX from Fresh and Unsigned. Music portal for all unknown and unsigned artists. That's also another period for the, uh, put on for the free period, right? Yeah. The homie's name is TSA. TSA, nobody else. <laughs> you say you know him. I know him. From where? He's from somewhere too. He's been around. He's been running Bram for years. We once had him at you Back lying. to the City. You He's lying, not a dog. new cat. You lie. TSA has been around, bro. You lying to me. I'm telling you. What's his TSA stands for? You don't know, no? I also don't. I tried to check it out on his bio. Yeah, it wasn't really. It's just TSA. So wait till born kid, man. Um Big numbers on the socials right now. Yeah. He's doing, he's dropping freestyles. Mm. Um, well, what we think are freestyles. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know if it's a freestyle, but it sounds so nice, man. The, yeah. guy, the guy is bossing it up. I think his stuff is picking up all over the world, really. Um, and a lot of a lot of cats are bumping. He's, he's moving in the States. He's moving in Europe. He's moving in Asia. I don't know about here. Has been, he was, he was one of the Bram kids. Back then, during the um, the days of poison bugs, poison bugs, poison bugs. Oh, he was bugs part was, of poison bugs. When when poison bugs, no, no. Okay. I'm saying when poison bugs was popping in Bram, he was one of those who were popping in Bram at the same time. Oh, word, word. Yeah. Okay, okay. Shout out to TSA, man. Let's watch some of his music. Tell me what you think, because I think this boy is on some on some shit. That's right? nice. TSA, back at it. Um, your take, final views on TSA. I think he's nice, man. I think he's nice. He He's finally getting the recognition internationally, mm-hmm. even though a lot of people don't know him locally. Yeah. But I think he's How on the he right track. How did he do it back to the city? He did well. He did well. Okay. Yeah, uh, he was one of those... Which stage? Performed during the day, you know. <laughs> you need to start somewhere. You can't say to, it like that. Don't say you it need like, to start somewhere. And then look at me and then... Yeah, but when you're performing during the day, um, is that a good thing? It is a good thing. People are still sober. Ah, but nobody's there, my dog. Like, and pe- trust me. People, I've, I've seen guys. Trust me. Back to the city, people, like, <laughs> by 4 o'clock, you already have 10,000 people. Trust me. No, I get that, right? Yeah. But I, was, I was once early at Back to the City. We were doing a cypher. Shout out to you guys for us up. Yeah. But we were doing a cypher in the VIP section with, yeah, with, yeah. with, with Y. Mm. And I got to back to the city at Boma 12 1. Yeah. No? There were people there, mm-hmm. but nobody was on the nobody was on the like the stage floor. Like yeah. everyone was just walking around, checking out the other stages. It's still early. Yeah. But then you get people like Nels. I don't know if you know Nels. Yeah, I know. Nels, Nels from Durban. Yeah. She was on stage rocking as if there's a full ass crowd out there. And I'm like, you, you, must, give all, you, you right? must give it your all. You must give it your all. Ain't nobody watching and you. You must dog. give it your all. <laughs> So TSA was out there early in the morning doing his... <laughs> During the day, not early in the morning, bro. <laughs> youngster, youngster CPT once performed early in the morning at Back to the City. A, a lot of people, man, Big Zulu once performed at 2 o'clock yeah, that's during early. the day. 
So you need to start somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe go on the other stage before you. Can yeah. Go on maybe to you start the 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 power play stage. Yeah. Yeah. That was dope, man. Yeah. Power play stage is, is the one. But shout out to TSA, man. It's it's good to hear that people like Sheed already on you, bro. Um, I'm onto your stuff. The Masterclass podcast is onto your stuff now. So go check out his his work, man. Really, really talented artist from South Africa. We're trying to ex- export this one. I think he doesn't give a shit about what's happening in the game right now. Yeah. He's more focused on his audience around the world and he's capturing them more than... There's a, there's a lot of artists like that as well. Really? Do you know Luanster? I do know Luanster. By Luanster. I do he's know popping, by Luanster. He's popping in Europe, but don't, nobody knows him here. Nobody gives a shit. There was a time he was in spoke. Yeah. They were popping in like Sweden. And yeah. You know, shout out to, to L- my L- homo yeah. Kamo. Kamo is part of Off The Meds. He just came back from Sweden now. He's a big ass artist. He won a, a, a Swedish Grammy, you know. In Sweden, so yeah. You know, Anstey is doing big things out there, you know. So yeah. Who else? Who else we got? Like, quiet in South Africa, but making it quite nicely overseas. Um, the girl. What's what, what's what's her name? Elaine. The, the, no, no, no. The female rapper. She was on Black Panther soundtrack. Oh, what? There's, there's a local Come on, man. FMC doing big she was, things overseas. She was her, yeah? Yugen Black Rock. Mm. Yugen Black Rock. Shout out. Her verse was... Her, her verse was man. even rated the best verse out of the um, Black Panther soundtrack. The best amongst Kendrick and all those niggas. Yeah. I, she has done a couple of... Yeah, yeah. And man. she got a dope-ass album. Too. Album yes. Is really, like, Yugen really, Black yeah. Rock is... There's a lot of... Rappers doing big things overseas because you guys are like focusing on who's trending on Twitter. Mm. You know, shout out to Aya Pizza's records. Do you think we've been sleeping on her? I think we've been sleeping on her, bro. Not me. She's been nominated at the Sahas. She's performed a couple of times at okay. Back to the City. Yeah. I never sleep on no one, man. If you got <laughs> some shit, I'll see you. <laughs> yeah, we see you, but man, we need the rest of the country to see her. She's yeah, really dope. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Really dope, man. Yeah. yeah. Who else we got today on the free period? Uh, we get um, Babs Clothing. Mm. Um, them cats from Durban doing big things, man. They, they've been around. I remember... The other year, they dressed me up for the SA Hip Hop Awards. Okay. Yeah, um, they, they dressed people like Scoob. They dressed people like Young Chief. Yeah. They got, like, dope merchandise. I've seen I've seen some of their stuff around. I really like it. I think it's dope. Um, I just feel like they should have given us some stuff to show out there on the show. we got a video, though, right? Yeah. So let's pump that. I, I see the clothing. Really yeah. cool. Some nice colors, some nice... I, I like the, the font that they've used, that Babs. Yeah. You know, having the A as a triangle, that's really cool as well. I like how they play with colors, man. Yeah. 031, shout out. 031 boys. Yeah. Ah, you love them, too. <laughs> Who do you ever tend that kind of boy? No, ev- everywhere, man. <laughs> Ask them 016 niggas. Oh, yeah. Them 012 niggas. I put everybody got, and, on, And yeah. the 021? 021, <laughs> nigga. Bravo LaRue, Cape Town representing. Shout out, man. <laughs> Shout out to Babs. Some of this stuff is really nice. So they have shoes, sneakers? Not yet, not yet. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. It's just socks, shorts, and sweaters, and T-shirts, and hoodies, and caps. Yeah. Yo, our DOP was telling us off air that they're making counterfeit drip clothing now. Drip. I, drop. It's called drop. <laughs> <laughs> I tweeted that shit. <laughs> Did you see that drop clothing? That's crazy. I didn't even see that. I didn't. I, I didn't think that we'd get to the level where we are re- like remixing and funk conging our own stuff, bro. Yeah, yeah. Pull it up. Pull it up. Listen, it drop. Boy. Yeah, it, it's called drop. <laughs> that looks like some white people shit, though. Yeah, but it has like almost almost the same logo and shit. Nah, it's I don't like drop, that at all, drip. fam. What? <laughs> you remember when when they started making um. I'm gonna keep keep counterfeits. Yeah, yeah. That cost the homies quite a lot of scrilla, right? Yeah. Hey, Damn. bro. It's rough Damn, out so. there, but you can't knock the hustle. I know. <laughs> I mean, but I hope Babs and you know, unlucky for 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 Drip to be going through the same thing. I know there's 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 big corporates that are doing the Batu kind of design as well. Yeah, yeah. So it looks like they're just biting off whatever's whatever's hard, dog. Yeah. So Babs, take care of your stuff, man. Make sure you you you, you register your shit. What, what, in music, what do they say? When you sample, make sure you... 
clear the clear the, edge. Clear the clear sample the sample clearance. <laughs> Shout out to Babs, man. That's the end of the free period. Reactions, reactions, reviews for today. Anzo. Anzo. It's slow, I mean. 10 Shoot, dog. That album. Mm. Um, when you when you when you sent me when you sent me the list that yo we're gonna talk about this yeah I, I honestly thought yo here's another underground hardcore Cassie rapper you didn't know Anzo <laughs> come on OG you disappoint me man I'm boy I'm he's originally from KZN is it Escort 3310 is the area code but he's based in the Val 016 okay I, yeah. I, he was featured on Java's album, not a track, Eweni. Yeah, yeah, yeah. on um, the yeah. latest. Yeah, the, yeah, the latest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a track called Eweni, features Anzo. Uh, and it was featured on Big Zulu's album, um, Shunwenka. Okay. KZN, boys. Yeah. I told you you like the KZN. That's why we always... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So he's, he's, he's been around as well. He just got signed by 20, 1020 Cartel. By Java and nice. um, Homie Raf. I like 1020. They've got some nice merch as well. Yeah. I like this stuff. I like man. the production, man. Like, let's, let's, let's play some of his stuff. I want to hear what he's got. This guy's got some. Yo, I, I, I like the EP. Only six songs, man. Mm-hmm. He's got a track with Java called Izimpi. Dope track. It's good. He's got a track called Mamkize. I don't know if he's talking about the Mamkize, the Andile. Andile and Mamkize. Royal AM yeah. Mamkize. <laughs> now Bloom Celtics Mamkize. Yeah. You know, now he's got, he's got like, production is on point, the tracks are on point. Six mm. to the point. Six good songs? Six good songs. No skip? No skip. Really? Really. Damn, No bro. skip. From what I, the songs, a couple of songs I skipped on it, but only because I was just trying to get through the album, through the EP real quick, but... It is something you can sit down and listen to. Shout out to Anzo, man. Um, yeah. Dope put on for me. Uh, yeah. I, I, had, I hadn't heard of the homie before. So, and I like the whole 3310 vibe. It's, it's, his, it's his area code. Yeah, like, area code, yeah. Whoop. Um, Escort, KZN. Escort, Escort. Yeah. Right, right. Shout out to Anzo, man. Really nice. You need to bump that. What you, what's your rating on it? My rating on it will be a 7 out of 10. 7? Yeah. Damn, I'm, I'm going to be slack on it. I'm going to give it a 6. I'm gonna give it a six. Um, it's an EP, so it's really, it's really tough to, it's really tough to rate it. Yeah, yeah. you know, you know, he's oh, been, he's been in the game for a while, but he didn't give us his all. It was like a teaser. Maybe the album is still coming, but I love it. Seven out of seven. Seven out of ten from the Big Sheet. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a six. I'm gonna give it a six. But you need to go out and listen to that. You can rate it as well. Drop your music. We Shout out to Raf on the production, man. Word, word, word. Raf on production. Yeah. I saw Zinga tweet this well, Raf, Raf co-owns the label with Java. With Java. 1020 Qatar. Nice, nice. Yeah. Oh, and Ambitious allows that? What? That's, that's dope. For him to be an employee and own his own. Label. He's not owning Ambitious. He no. was just... They, but he's they, an employee of him. No, not, not necessarily. They, they outsource, like production and mixing and mastering. So they pay him as a company, not yes. as Raf, yes. the person. Yeah. Which is cool. Shout out to Raf getting his bag. Because that's the best way to get your bag. Yeah, man. <laughs> no, I see, I, see, I see the homie. Who, who's uh, producing on the album? On Anzo's stuff? It, it is it is Raf. Raf. Yeah. All the way. All the way. Damn, that's like, I saw Zinger saying that he feels like Raf should be the only person producing his music going forward. Raf is too musical and he's like 10 out of 10 when it comes to mixing and mastering quality. Mm. Raf is do, 10 do, do out of be, 10. Do you believe when you drop the EP or the album, do you believe in having one producer throughout the album, like a hit point now situation, like a Raf and Anzo situation? Or do you prefer having lots of different producers on, on one piece, like a Kanye will bring in different people to come work with him on? on... I, it, it depends. Some producers are versatile. You don't want to use the same sound on your on your project, yeah. you know? But if you have someone who can bring all these different sounds and elements and emotions, then you can, u- you can, you can use the same person. But I'm saying, what's best? What's best? Do I, do I look to hook up with one dude, me and him in studio, we lock in and we drop this, this project? Or should I just look at working with different people? What's the best formula from your experience? I don't think... I don't, 
hence I'm saying it depends. I don't think there's a a, a, a best formula. If you have one a person who can bring a variety, you can lock yourself in with one person. But if you need a variety from different people, then do that. Ah, okay. I yeah. Hear I hear that. All right. So I think I prefer. I think I prefer the whole rough Anzo situation. You know, rough Zinger situation. You know, artists yeah. working with one guy. I think is the Zuchi 25k. You know, Zuchi yeah. speedster. You know, like I prefer one artist, one producer. Let them come together and create some some piece that we can get. It, it, but with that said, you need to e- evolve. And come project, with different. Yeah. That's that's why Wu Tang rappers ended up saying, "Nah, Riza, we don't fuck with your beat anymore." Anymore, yeah, yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? Because it's worked it started, with one person. It started to sound. It's, it started all to the sound same. the same. Yeah. Yeah, that does tend to happen. Because even with Ruff's music, you mm. can hear, "Oh, this is some rough shit. This yeah. is this is Ruff's music you right know. here." You can hear, "Oh, this is some Zuchi. Mm. This is definitely Zuchi." You know? Yeah. So I get that. It kind of turns you. It it it, it channels you into a certain type of artist. Yeah. Right, I get you. But shout out, man. That's our reaction for the day. Anzo, 3310. It's out right now. Go check it out. Dope ass. I give it a six, though. <laughs> I gave it a seven. And we're out of here. That's that. We'll see you next week. Episode 10. I get from next week. <laughs>